So this is the secret. So, this is it. Hidden chamber of the cultists. Here, all along. I'm going inside. Keep my clothes for me? Best not to go in with your weapons, either. I don't think they'll look too kindly on that. How do I look? Terrifying. Good. Find me once you've found out the truth in there. Keep your wits about you. Try not to do anything rash. Me? Rash? These ridiculous costumes were a good idea. Demos hasn't arrived yet. Sorry, it's my first time. A new recruit? <gasps> welcome, welcome. There's a lot of people here. All share our common mind. Good. We're here to evaluate the strides taken by the cult since the last meeting. We haven't met for some, some time. Where did they come from? The land and across the seas, we assemble as a community. Here, there is no war. There are no sides. You mentioned someone. Vimos. Who is that? You'll learn his name very, very quickly. He's our leader. I'm sure he believes that, but no. He's our weapon. He's difficult, but he does important work for us. I don't envy his position one bit. I'll go talk to the others. Thank you. Yes, yes, before Demos comes. Who knows if you'll get a word in after that. Still not convinced. You, we need another opinion on this. Why split resources searching for a woman we can't find? If we narrow our focus, Athens will be ours. Immediate threats have to be destroyed. Pericles has to be destroyed. Not without the mother. We aren't strong enough without the mother. Don't let Demos hear that. If anything, we should be hunting the father. We know who the mother is. Looking for the father would be a waste of resources. What do you think? Hunt the champion's mother or his father? Neither. You have a better idea? The sibling, Cassandra. She's as good as ours already. We need to look to the future. No. Go after her. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need much more information to identify who these cultists wrong. are. We need to look for the father now. It's only blood right now. But who knows? Ramos may ask for our hands next. Go on! Make your offering! I'll pass. The blood is for the cause, not the boy! Make your sacrifice! Oh. Sorry. We just have to keep our sights on what the bloodline will do for us. The bloodline? The mother, the father, the sister, you know. His kin. 
We need them. All of them. To use them. That information is not for Vemos, of course. You know how volatile he is. He could rip through us easily. I'll be sure to keep it to myself. As you should. Nor can he know we're about to capture his mother. <laughs> Do what with her? I would lower my voice if I were you. Just know she will be put to good use unless she's uncontrollable. You know where she is? No, but it won't be long until we do, I assure you. She's the cult's next target. Tell me about Demos. He's shown us what we need to know. He's a machine, a weapon for the cult. Someone that unstable can't be trusted with such personal information. I have to go. To our great ambition. To ambition. We can't have two minds about this. The cult must decide. Letters to and from the cult. Gods, they have a foothold in every part of the Greek world. We're in more danger than I thought. Together, Malaka. You're a fucking pig before slaughter. I'll do it. I swear. I'll kill him. Let me go. You like to watch, you sick fuck. You're not just going to watch. You're going to teach this little insolent shit a lesson. I... Show him what happens to cowards. They get fucking burned. Hand it to me. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> More? No. I'll go to Athens. I'll stake out the temple. I'll kill him. Good. And don't waste my fucking time again. Like that again, I feel something. Blood. Towards the pyramid. Now get the fuck out of it's here covered in shards like albinos. Blood on your robes. You! Someone was spotted going into your house. Guards were found dead outside. Tell me who you talked to or I'll break your pretty face. Please, I beg you. She forced me. I thought she would kill me. She? I will kill you. What did you tell her? <laughs> Speak before I really give you something to cry about. I wish I could do something. But if I reveal myself now, this will all be for nothing.
Ah, you had the last piece. Now it is ready. Every time I see it, it calls to me and sings of power. Does it call to you like it calls to me? It does. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I... No. My great warrior hasn't even arrived yet. Gather yourself and hold your tongue, fool. Show respect for the bloodline. Elpinor is dead. One of you is a traitor. The artifact will expose them. Everyone. alive. They know me. My family. They want my mother dead. I see. It's worse than I thought. There's more. They have a weapon. What kind? A soldier. Stronger and more ferocious than any I've ever seen. Kirovotos 
It's my brother. We need to get to Athens. Athens? We need to find my mother. My clothes. Spear. Uh, of course. My spear! The cult of Cosmos called my brother Demos. He used an artifact to see my memories. Cassandra, the man I serve, we must tell him what's happened before it's too late. You've heard the name Pericles before. Pericles is the king of the free people of Athens. King? Athens has no king. Pericles serves the people, not the other way around. Serves the people? You're right. He's not much of a king. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. This is colluding against him. He must be warned. We have to go. You weren't there, Irodotos. The cult controls everything. There's no stopping them. Which is why you cannot turn away. They want to destroy all of the Greek world with this war. I won't be some pawn in your scheme, Irodotos. Don't do it for me, then. Do it for your mother. If there is one place where we can find information about your mother, it is in Athens. How? Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say, anywhere. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonidas? Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult, and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you, but let's make it quick, Irodotos. First, Thermobile. Then we go to Athens. I'll make sure every single one of these cultists dies by my hands. Cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men, so I simply cut them open.
say you can't walk this battlefield without getting those. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotus! I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convince myself was a dream. Until now, a peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone, like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned the people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal, and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind, and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Herodotus. I trust you. You understand. 
I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, we must sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Herodotus. Will you I have Herodotus is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Herodotus on your path, just like they would do on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension. All we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Herodotus and I shall end this too. Door? I've never seen anything like it before. How do I get inside? I wonder if... Hesitation only hastens. The grave, I know, Mater. Your form is improving. Your resolve is strong. But you're not taking action. I was going to. I know. But it's the moments in between that decide everything. Your turn. Leonida's spear. You're old enough now. My father's spear holds a certain burden, but you're ready. something huh the spear it has magic it carries with it a long line of power a bloodline of incredible heroes the same blood within you and me and our family all of us think of leonidas he had great courage and he made a great sacrifice you share his blood and the strength he possessed we are able to feel certain things happening around us. That is our family's gift. But not everyone understands that. Some recognize the power we bear and want it only for themselves. They will try to take it from us. I won't let them. I know. You're a warrior. If we keep moving forward, always moving forward, we're untouchable. Storms coming in. And maybe we should move forward now. <laughs> Mother, I haven't forgotten you. How does a place like this exist? How could I even explain this to someone like Marcos?
Something's glowing over there. Activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged. Themos. The Forge. I knew I let you stay in the Animus too long. Your vitals are crashing. You don't understand. This confirms it. Cassandra didn't just have Isu technology. She had the means to improve it. Imagine how powerful the staff could be. I admit, that could be an incredible find. But right now, I'm the doctor, and I take care of you. Now get some rest before you go back to Cassandra. No time to rest. Abstergo goons could be tracking us down right now. And the rest of us will be ready for them. If you burn out here, our mission will be done. They told me you had a cheerful bedside manner. Don't forget, we're a team. We'll back you up until you're finished your investigation. I know. Kyoshi secured the loft yesterday, and he's keeping an eye out. Elena's on call doing historical research. And I'm here to talk if you're feeling any confusion from the Animus. Always the therapist. So, Doctor, how do you feel now that we're closer than ever to the staff? I believe this staff is important. But the Templars and Assassins have found staves of Eden before. Nikolai Tesla blew one up in Russia, if I remember correctly. This is different. If what I saw in Egypt is true, this staff doesn't control minds. It controls physics. Time. Imagine rewriting the rules of the universe. The spear you found is right here, and it's not doing anything. The spear's attached to a bloodline. Leonidas, Cassandra, and Themos, I mean, Alexios, they were intimately connected to it. Are you- No. But if the Templars get it, they won't stop until they find someone who can. So, what do you think of my new Animus? You mean, our new Animus? That's Abstergo equipment. Which I've modified to within a millimeter of its digital life. It's an Animus console prototype, Brahmin variant, with the I.O. capacities pushed to their max. Ultra portable with more calculating power than NASA and CERN combined. I'll go stretch my legs. Too bad we don't have access to the Abstergo gym anymore, huh? Membership costs too much. Are you sure you want to go back into the Animus right now? I get the impression you'll be there a long time. Yes. I'm ready to go back to Cassandra. All right. I'll be watching your back. My spear is stronger now. The cult won't stand a chance. Well, Herodotus will be happy. It's clear someone was here far before we were. Did Leonidas know this place existed?
You're not hard to track. Did you come alone? Are you all right? <laughs> Alexios, you're alive. Don't touch me. <laughs> come on, little brother. You have to tell me everything. What's happened to you? I don't have to tell you anything. I don't know you. Well, I know you. It doesn't matter. There's more important things to argue about. You're right. Like that stunt you pulled with the artifact. It got my attention, if that's what you wanted. What? The artifact showed the truth. We're family. And we made it out of Sparta alive. <laughs> yes, it did show the truth. It confirmed what I always knew. You threw me off a fucking mountain! Do you think it's that simple? Come on, Alexios. Let's talk about it. Stop calling me that. I already know what happened that night. Right. Demos. Now him, I don't know. He's a demigod. Worshipped and feared by the cult and all the Greek world. Then why do the cult's bidding? Have you been paying attention? They're following my lead. Then make a choice on your own. Help find our mother. <sighs> I'm not interested in reunion. I just want to know what you think you're doing. Same thing as your cult. Looking for Mirini, our mother. They don't need her. Your cultists think differently. She's their next target. If they ever pursued her, it would be to kill her. But if you don't know where she is... That means she abandoned you, too. How sad. Even if we were abandoned, we survived. We can go back to the way things were if we can find her. The cult has no interest in sentimentality or family. Its only aim is control. If they're after all of us, there's one less person to find. I killed Nikolaos. Yet here you are, acting so righteous, when really, you're just like me. I don't care what you think. I'll find Mirini. Do the right thing. Come with me. What? We could find her. Together. You could help me. <laughs> oh, you think friendship is the answer? Running around like lost children looking for dear mother. You're so weak. It's responsibility, not weakness. I won't abandon the whole family just for spite. Responsibility? Get off your high horse. The cult has a plan, and it won't be interrupted by the likes of you. Taking your own mother isn't enough for them? We're not abductors. We're political. Those who don't stand with us, stand against us. And they pay for that mistake. Like me. Like you. I heard you're planning a trip to Athens. When you go, tell Pericles and his elitist scum they're next. The cult let Mirini live. They let Nikolaos live. Why kill them now? Because you live. You brought this on her and yourself. The cult is powerful, but they're mortals. I have the blood of gods, so they think you do too. But they'll see how wrong they are. I'm going after the cult, you know. You've seen our numbers. You've seen what I can do. And you still think you stand a chance? Try me. So having guts runs in the family, does it? <laughs> You claim we have the same blood. So let's see what you can do. We still found each other, brother. I told you not to touch me. Demos! Gah. Herodotus won't believe this. I have to tell him what happened. Well, 
Was the legend true? Was it magnificent? What happened to you? And your spear? Slow down. My spear's stronger now. I can feel it. You were right. There was some kind of artifact there. It showed me a vision. Of me and my mother. So... The ancient civilization is real. Cassandra, you have no idea the power you possess. All harnessed in Leonidas' spear. That's not everything. Demos followed me here. The cult's already moving, he told me himself. They're going after us. My family, Pericles... Why would he tell you? Unless it was a trap. It doesn't matter. We have to get to Athens to warn Pericles. And we need to find my mother before they do. Then, we go to the Penix. If Pericles is anywhere, he's there. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back. She is no, I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you and Cleon both made good points. Good points aren't at all what the crowd seem to care about. They're afraid. Cleon indulged their fear. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely, and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. If she's working for you, Maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in. Although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There is an ostracism vote taking place that could use your uh, influence. Meteochos. You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. 
You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist, Anaxagoras, and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Agora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes. <laughs> Blessed be the god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. Do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes? How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home. Dragged me here, tied me up, and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voice. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. <laughs> 